Okay, so I had a pretty hectic day today. I had a lot of stuff going on today, including taking the road test, which I thankfully passed. Just barely, but I passed. So I don't know how it works in other states, but around here, where I live in New York, uh, you fail if you get over 30 points taken away from you, or over 30 points added. So if you have 35 points, you fail, or anything above that. I got 25 points, so what I got points taken away from had to do with going too slow, actually, not even speeding. I was going too slow. He said, poor judgment. I didn't look over my shoulder enough, and I was a little far from the curb when I was doing the parallel parking. But he had me parallel park on one car because that's what that's what you do when you're in such a small town, and he has you parallel park on one car because there's no nowhere else to parallel park. So I kind of got thrown off because I didn't have a car behind me to like look back on and kind of adjust myself to. I just had a weird time parallel parking to one car, but I passed, and I'm sure you guys don't care about my driving skills, but just wanted to include that in there. So let's talk about the real news. This is breaking news. I just literally just got home from the road test, and I found this out. Bungie is splitting with Activision, and Destiny is going to be in control of Bungie. I don't know if this means that... Bungie is going to look for a new publisher if they're going to kind of do like an Epic Games kind of thing where they don't even have a publisher anymore. They just publish their own things. I know technically Epic Games has Tencent, but we're not going to talk about them quite yet, although they are a very interesting topic. They uh, are a Chinese firm that owns 40% of Epic Games. So I don't know how Bungie is going to continue financing Destiny. I assume Destiny 3 is going to come down the line in a few years. But I think this is great news because they are uh, they really want to make Destiny great. And it seems like a lot of the reason why Destiny really fell below expectations has to do with Activision's influence on the game. I think we could all agree on that part. So I think this is nothing but good news. In terms of speculation, uh, who could be the new publisher, there's really no news. This just broke out. The only news that we know is that they announced... Uh, here's a quote that Bungie posted in a blog post on their forums uh, quote we have enjoyed a successful eight-year run and would like to thank activision for their partnership on destiny looking ahead we're excited to announce plans for activision to transfer publishing rights for destiny to bungie with our remarkable destiny community we're ready to publish on our own while activision will increase their focus on owned ip projects so that answers the question bungie feels like they're big enough to be able to self-publish and not have to worry about uh, an, another entity getting involved so that answers that question because I was kind of uh, uh, curious as to what that meant would they be looking for a new publisher I knew that they were they would maintain they would keep ownership of the Destiny series but I don't know if that meant that they would have someone else publish it to finance it but they feel that they feel that their game would be so much better and that they'd be better off as a company going on their own than having to deal with another publisher. And great for them. I think uh, I think this honestly changes everything, to be honest with you. I mean, even if you play Destiny 2, if you feel the game's a little bit shallow, I think this is good news. Because I'm doing a series right now on the different actors and factions that exist in the video game industry. And I talk a lot, uh, I'm going to be talking about publishers and how they influence game development. Uh, that's, a, that's a video I'm going to be making soon. And one example that I was planning on using, which I might have to revise or update, was Bungie's, uh, was Activision's influence on Bungie and why Destiny turned out to be the way it was. I mean, it's not like the people at Bungie aren't talented enough to make a, a full experience to make a, a compelling and immersive experience. Look at the Halo series. I mean, a lot of these people that worked in Halo still work there today. So it's not like they're not capable of making a good game. It's just that Activision has their way of doing things. They have a lot of influence. This is just publishers in general, right? Publishers have huge influence on developers. So when you take it out on... When you take out a game doing bad, if you don't like how the game is doing... And you like to take out that frustration on the development team, which makes sense because they're the ones that are most directly involved with the development of the game. But you have to keep in mind that the publishers are also a big, 
a really they they have honestly they have more influence on how the game is made than the developers themselves do if you really think about it so yeah it, it, it it's definitely a big deal this news it's definitely uh, gonna shake things up a lot it's gonna shake things up a lot probably ju- at least just as much as when Bungie announced that they were no longer partnered up with Microsoft and that they were going to be with Activision maybe this is a new chapter for Bungie and maybe things will be on the uptick for them because honestly with Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 things were not looking that great for them now I don't know what kind of deal that they were able to to work with to be able to I don't know if their contract expired or any of that information we don't really know that yet but Activision is going to transfer publishing rights to Bungie, so I guess they worked out some kind of deal. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that went about because this was sudden. It's not like people expected this to happen. But this is definitely going to end up being one of the biggest. We're already we're only on January 10th. We're not even a week and a half into the new year, or we're about a week and a half now. But we're not even two weeks into the new year. And this is going to still be, I don't care what happens if they announce the PlayStation 5 and the next Xbox or whatever, this is going to stand out as probably one of the biggest stories, the, one of the biggest gaming stories of the year because this is really going to change things. I think this is going to change things for the better. If you feel that the experience was not as good as you expected it to, it was bland, it was t- whatever you might feel about the Destiny series, and I have those opinions as well. I played Destiny 1, my, one of my best friends was addicted to that game, and I'm like, how are you addicted to it? It's nothing but a total grind fest, there's no lore, there's no immersion, it's just a, a cookie cutter sci-fi shooter in my opinion, that's what I felt about Destiny. It was trying too hard, I mean it wasn't trying hard enough really, I mean that's what I feel like the problem was. They, they, it's just it was destiny was just such a weird was such a weird thing going on because there were just the expectations were so high and bungie activision whoever was in charge of actually making the game the way it was they were just not interested in living up to those expectations they were just more interested in some into the monetization part of it they figured okay you know, because Halo wasn't really the type of game that was monetized to death. They re- released the game full, and that was it. So they figured, you know, we might as we might become just as big as Halo if we just, you know, have a co- bare bones experience without DLC, and then release all these DLC packs, and on top of that, release microtransactions that will make up for, you know, we'll we'll make money that way. We don't need to make the game amazing. So I feel like that the the idea of you know, because Activision is under a lot of pressure to keep up with the shareholders expectations and the shareholders are another important actor in the video game industry that also have great deal of influence in the industry because if the shareholders aren't happy they're going to sell their stock and if everyone's selling the stock the value of the stock is going to go down and that's overall i know there's a lot more to look at in a company's overall value you have market cap and you have a variety of different uh, of different ways of determining how valuable a company is but if the shares of a of a company stock goes down to a point it's not going to make the company look good and you're going to have less people investing which means less capital so that's why publishers or just you know the big corporations like Activision these publicly traded companies on the New York Stock Exchange are so concerned about what the shareholders think because they provide a lot of the funding that they need to get these projects done. So without shareholders, really, it, it, it hate to admit it, but without shareholders, it would really be uh, much harder to develop these really expensive projects to come up with the money for it. So I, I, I'm look, I'm very optimistic about this. I think this can only be good. It really can't get any worse for Destiny at this point. I think that Destiny 3 is going to be really good, and I think they're going to update Destiny 2 and probably make that game a little better as well. 
So I think if you're a Destiny fan, if you're someone, or just a Bungie fan in general, or just even a fan of gaming, this is a series that, you know, might turn, it's probably going to turn around and be for the better. And that's great for all of us. So let me know what you guys think. I think this is uh, going to end up being one of the biggest stories of the year and is going to have a huge impact on the industry as a whole for years to come. Bungie going on its own, becoming its own publisher. It was very interesting. And who knows like if that's if there's going to be some downsides to that. Maybe they'll struggle finding the money necessary to, to make Destiny 3 and all that. We'll see. I definitely think their business model will change dramatically. They can't get away with having all these microtransactions and all that when now they're a much smaller studio that really relies on fanfare more than shareholders because they're not going to be publicly traded. So we'll see how things go. It's going to be interesting.